really hard to do when you got gloves on. There we go. That's our that's our original. I've got to set the tarp up. I'm going to do what I think is one of the easiest tarp setups. Uh, it's it's pretty popular, really easy to do. Like I said, we got our ridge line set up, and let's go ahead and throw our tarp up. This is the DD uh, 3x3 tarp. This thing is huge. It's got guidelines, it's got pins, it's got it all. This is like a absolute amazing tarp. I'm going to shove this here in my pocket so the wind don't blow it off. Because it's like got 36 mile an hour winds right now at... I think it's roughly 20 degrees out. I got my Gen 7 uh, fluff down coat. This thing keeps me warm all winter long. So it's gonna be a little bit hard with this wind, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. This part you're gonna need a stick. We got a pretty long one right here that we can actually cut down. So we use one of these other ones. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a stake so we can dig this in the ground. Set 
the steak like so. Another one? And do the same thing. And the dirt. There we go. Now we got our second one. Now that we have our shelter set up, we're going to go ahead and get our sleeping bag out. We're going to get the sleeping pad out. We're going to get our bed made up and we're going to start this Thanksgiving dinner. self-inflating pad so it just sucks in air and it inflates itself. I don't have to blow it up or anything like that. So we got our Titan down to negative five degrees sleeping bag. This thing is super plush. It, it's kept me warm in negative 20, 30 degree weather so uh, definitely a good sleeping bag right here. We just got it washed, so we're all ready for the cold season. Also, we can't forget about our good friends over at Outdoor Vitals. This is their uh, traveling ultralight uh, pillow. This thing is super simple, really nice. I've used it a few times actually at home. Uh, it beats uh, the pillows I have there. So uh, this one you do have to blow up. It's not self-inflating. It's 
got self locking so the air won't escape. And there you go. We have our outdoor vital pillow. So we're just gonna go ahead, place this right inside. Just like that. We're gonna take all of our uh, all of our bags that the gear comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take care of those. Get those back in the pack. The pack that I'm rocking is actually one I got from a very good friend of mine, Steven over at Hiking Deep. Uh, I'll put his channel uh, link down in the description below. Awesome guy, go ahead and check it out. Any kind of gear related stuff that I have questions about or just anything YouTube uh, related, I give him a call or I'll watch a video that he does on some of the gear that he posts. So definitely cool guy, definitely want to check him out. all the pots and pans out so we can get to cooking. Yeah, like I said, this bag is amazing. I take this when I have a lot of stuff I need to bring with me. Uh, super great bag. Got my cup. Got my algae bottle. Got my other cook pot that can also be used as a cup as well. It's got little handles right here. I got a few more other things. Dig into our hidden woods button. Grab our ferro rod of choice. And I'm kind of on the orange kick, so I'm going to go with my SOS ferro rod. Okay, our. There we go. So I got a few black and white fire starter man made. Uh, tenders on here along with some all-natural birch bark. All I'm gonna do is just kind of fluff that up. Take my ferro rod. There we go. Mind you that all this wood is still pretty wet because we have we had snow, we had about three inches of, of rain. Uh, so it's probably gonna take a minute for this fire to get up and going. Just finding my little small light twigs and logs and sticks to put on there. First things up, uh, we're gonna put in a smaller pot. It's a can of corn, and this is a uh, cream style sweet corn. I didn't bring a can opener, but I did bring a nice knife. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one up, just with the knife itself. It's good to know in a survival situation if you don't have a um, a can opener with you, uh, you still can open up a can. Just kind of want to go right up against that seam on top of the can. All 
pop that back. Open our can up. This one, uh, and this big guy, our MSR pot. We're going to do some four cheese mashed potatoes. This is all store bought stuff. I wanted to try to make this about as simple as possible so that anyone can go out there and kind of recreate this meal. So we're going to add our mix in now and Add our bottle of water. Add some water in there. And put our lid back on. So that corn, mashed potatoes. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna make some stuffing and some turkey in this pot. This is going to be our turkey right here. We're going to add this turkey in uh, along with uh, I'm leery about but this is going to be the stuffing that I'm going to be using so I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. I'm going to go ahead and add those in so we have our stuffing. And then our our can of turkey, which I'm gonna have to use the knife again, uh, which is an Elk Ridge knife. If anyone's curious, it's an awesome knife, fairly cheap as well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the same thing I did with the can of kettle corn, or not kettle corn, uh, cream style corn rather, and uh, just kind of go along that seam. Which I there you guys go. I don't know if I can get that zoomed in better there we go that way you guys can see what I'm doing cutting this can open we're gonna add that into our pot of stuffing we're gonna get all three uh, all three pots that I brought out on the fire uh, now that's turning down to coals that way it'll get a nice even cook to it instead of just going right on the fire Alright, so there's our turkey. See if I can zoom in. There we go. Go ahead and add that all right in to our stuffing and turkey pot. Make sure we get all the all the chunks out there. I got two of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the other one and add that one in too. We're gonna add a little bit of water too. We're gonna add a little bit of water in with that as well. Right here. Uh, I did bring some seasonings. I'm gonna season this up as well. Then throw it on the fire and we're gonna have a bushcraft style Thanksgiving out in the woods. For any of you guys that don't have family to go to or anything like that, 
you guys can uh, stick around and have Thanksgiving with me. So we got our Thanksgiving dinner done. I'm gonna go ahead and fix me a plate and I'll show you guys what that looks like and consists of. So the stuffing kind of turned into like a more of a, a gravy like heaven pretty much if I had to describe it uh, with the turkey. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Kettle corn, or I don't know why I keep saying kettle corn. It's uh, creamy corn. We got that, and the grand finale. My all-time favorite mashed potatoes. I really wish I would have brought gravy, uh, but it's okay. You know what? These are uh, a four cheese blend. So I was gonna make a spoon, but I did. I did bring my Cedar Summit uh, titanium uh, spork, so I won't need it. But let's go ahead and show you guys the masterpiece. So there we go. So now we got our food. Uh, I'm gonna say a quick little prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, uh, I am blessed that you gave me this opportunity to uh, eat this delicious food. Uh, please bless over me, my family, and all my subscribers. Thank you. Amen. Mmm. Well, that's good. Let's get a little bit of everything in there.
nothing beats this out in the woods uh, doing a classic tarp shelter for the night got my nice warm sleeping bag my, uh, my sleeping pad uh, it's just awesome it, it's really nice got my thick heavy coat on underneath I have a hoodie which I'm, I'm actually warm enough now even in 20 degree weather with 26 mile an hour winds as you can tell uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not cold one bit so uh, so yeah uh, definitely a lot of stuff coming up I got that wish survival challenge buying only wish recommended gear uh, there's gonna be a Walmart challenge uh, in a Goodwill or a thrift shop uh, however you uh, call it uh, challenge as well try to survive by buying stuff at a Goodwill uh, then I got a very special video for my one year anniversary here on YouTube uh, so it's gonna be a good one I want to thank you all you guys for watching uh, my content subscribing liking all that good stuff uh, supporting my channel like I said I'm not a really big channel I just started off uh, and YouTube's finding a hard way to uh, recognize who I am and get my videos out there so but that's alright you know what I having a smaller channel like the one I have now uh, it gives me a lot of uh, a lot of time to actually uh, talk with you guys my subscribers and all that good stuff so uh, I'm truly blessed I, I am happy with every the way everything is going so uh, channel shout outs like I said we have Steven over at uh, hiking deep uh, we have Zachary Fowler with Fowler's, uh Makery and Mischief uh, Craig Ovens uh, who started his channel awesome channel uh, Zach's pretty awesome for editing and taking the time to help out with his channel uh, Drop Forge Survival uh, Chris Thorne a uh, good friend of mine uh, always helping me out giving me ideas all that good stuff uh, definitely check those channels out I'll have all the links in the description down below in this video uh, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this I'm going to collect wood, get a nice long bed fire going. It's going to be pretty cold. It's going to drop down to like 7 degrees tonight. Uh, I'm going to hunker down and uh, ride this out. So thanks for staying with me. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Uh, there will be many more to come. Uh, God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.